as an Akixi supervisor, I can use this report for, for other means of call control as well as agent control. And the way you can do this is by clicking on an agent. And as we can see now, I've clicked on John and it gives me a number of options of what I'm able to do with John now. I could use this menu to call him. If he was on a call, I could look at the current call details. Or if John was alerting, I could pick up the call. I'm also able to use this menu to complete a number of other call control actions. And that is, if John's phone was ringing, I could pick up that call and bring that call to my extension. Or as a call center supervisor, if I saw that John was struggling with a call to a customer, I could steal that call. And that would then bring that customer call to my extension. Or similar, I could send that call to another extension. So I could see that John was struggling, but I could send that call to Jane, because I know Jane's more experienced. And so she'd be able to deal with that customer problem much better. Moving down the menu, as an Akixi supervisor, you're also able to use this menu to monitor your agents. So in effect, this is a barging facility that would allow you to break into a, a current conversation. So again, if John was having trouble, rather than taking the call from him, you can come into that call and assist John if needs be. Moving down the menu, we now get onto some agent control features. So for example, if John has accidentally put do not disturb on, you're able to take it off. Or if he's away from his desk, you're able to turn on do not disturb on his behalf. All the call control features and the do not disturb feature that we've just covered are available on other reports such as extension lists. So they're not exclusive to the ACD agent list. Carrying on down the list, we now have some agent control features. So for example, as we can see, John has just gone into not available. So let's click on John again, just to refresh the menu. Oh, and we can see before we got chance, John has become available. The other things we can do is not just take John out of a not available state, we can also put him into a not available state. So should we have noticed that John's gone out for lunch, but he's still logged in, but he's left his phone as available. As an Akixi supervisor using the Akixi supervisor portal, we can set John into any not available state we want. So we could put John into a not available lunch state. And as we're in a call center environment, we can see that agents have the ability to sign in and sign out of groups. For example, let's say that John's gone home and he's not signed himself out. Again, as an Akixi supervisor, you can sign John out of a specific group. Or you see that he's coming in first thing in the morning and he's not signed into any groups. Again, as an Akixi supervisor, you can sign agents into specific call groups. Moving across the top to the very right hand, we can now change how we want to view reports on the screen. Akixi comes with four different view types which you can apply to any Akixi report. The first one being detailed table view that we're looking at right now. The next two are BLF views, horizontal and vertical. And what a BLF is, it's just a really cut down version of being able to view ACD agent activity at a glance. And again, you can apply this to extension list, to active call list, to pretty much any report that you want within Akixi. This just allows you to see activity at a glance. And within the BLF view, you still have full call control, full agent control. And if you hover over an agent, it also gives you all the detailed stats that you would get in the detailed table view. And BLF horizontal, exactly the same again, but displayed horizontally. And the final view is the charting view, which allows you to look at the report in many different chart styles. We're currently looking at 3D stack, but there are many other charting views you can apply when looking at reports. The other thing to bear in mind is when you apply a different chart style, that will be the chart style applied to the scheduled report by email. The next feature along is the time frame selection, and this allows you to apply a specific time frame to any report you're looking at. And exactly as it is with the device filter on the report window, these are the same time frame setting that you would apply on the modify report window. You can also apply custom timeframes from this drop down selection by selecting the date time range. And the final feature across the top is the close this report button. This only applies to the report you're currently looking at in the report window. And closing a window does not delete it. It just closes the report you're looking at. But if you wanted to open that report again, simply click it from the my report window. So finally, going back to the bottom of the report window, a Kixi has a transition feature which allows you which allows you to automatically scroll through all the open reports. And to activate the transition feature, click on the bottom right hand icon where it says off, and that will then transition through all the open reports at a predetermined interval. By default, the interval is five seconds, but you can change the default five seconds on a report by report basis so that you can have specific reports staying on the screen longer or shorter if necessary. As well as whether a report is included in the transitioning or not, you can in fact have a report open and select for it not to be included in the transitioning.
And the final note on transitioning is you're able to rearrange the order of the tabs. So if you want your reports appearing in a different order, just drag and drop them into the order you want them to appear.